Mm. Full-bodied wine is the best. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> when the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse special feature. Do I see some new faces? Once again, your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine Full Body, the second coming of an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain curse has a terrifying and dramatic week. Oh. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> well, like I said... This is Catherine, but with a fuller body. It's aged nicely, with a sensual flavor, not unlike a fine wine. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He is an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. Amidst the storm of temptations around him, he has another chance encounter. And an awfully cute one at that. But doesn't this seem a little... <laughs> convenient? Oh my, sounds like a recipe for disaster. Will Vincent be able to overcome the massive blocks in his life? Perhaps he'll take a road less traveled. <laughs> his outcome depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. It's time to savor the marriage of pleasure and pain. Now enjoy the show, until we meet again.
<laughs> oh, shit! Whoa. feature automatically takes you from the starting point to the goal without having to lift a finger. You can regain control whenever you want. Give it a try when you can't figure out a way up. Hurry up and climb! Who are you? Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die? Are you fucking serious? There's no time limit on easy difficulty, so the ground below will not fall. You have plenty of time to think about your next move. <laughs> move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? You can grab onto a block with the X button and move it with the directional buttons. Some blocks can be moved, while others cannot. So be sure to experiment. If you make a mistake moving a block, you can press the L1 button to undo it. Moreover, on easy difficulty, you can use autoplay to climb automatically. If you can't figure out how to proceed, press the R1 button to enable autoplay. aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean, they connect at the edges? Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. Connecting blocks at their edges to make stairs is the key to successfully scaling the tower. Strive for the goal by creating a path step by step. meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec! When you hear the bell ringing, you'll know that you've almost reached the goal. Refer to the map located on the left side of the screen to see how much further you have to go. <laughs> out through here to begin. I'll be sure to prepare something extra special for you behind the next door. Let's meet again tomorrow night. I look forward to it. Mm. 
Uh, hello? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Ugh. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! Were you even listening? Uh... Sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> so, are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh... Not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you... died? You mean like... where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No. I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> well, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Oh, man. How long has it been? It's been so long I can't remember. Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just, my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled out. Hey, change it! The Chief match is off! No! Two beers over here! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. You kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides... You're single, too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Oh, how'd the interview go? <laughs> the boss seems like a really nice person. He said I could work here starting tomorrow. So everything's cool with you now? Mm-hmm. Oh, way better. Hey, did old boss make any weird moves? Hey, Rin, come here! Uh, I'll see you.
See you later. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah, the mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit, no way! Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream, but I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, oh, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. Well, see ya. <sighs> oh, hey, Erica. So, she managed to get the job, huh? Of course. I can't just abandon someone with amnesia, especially when they seem like such a good kid. And like Johnny said, there's this innocent cluelessness to Rin that oh, I just can't help caring about. Not to mention the whole stalker thing. Who would do that and why? Seems like even she doesn't know. Now how could that be? You should find out. Everything okay now? Yeah, I think so. Um, I wanted to say thanks. Not just for saving me, but also for finding me a job and a place to stay. I was so scared. I couldn't remember anything. I'm so glad I met someone as nice as you, Vincent. Ah, it's nothing really. Anyone would have done the same. Still, you saved me, Vincent. I start working here tomorrow, so I'll do my best to show you my appreciation. receive texts at the bar. You can respond to some of them. Give it a try. Certain words and actions change Vincent's inner ideas. A meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Hey, how many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but 
just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. <sighs> Bringing up her parents out of the blue? It's not like her. You got a mail. I feel like going home today. Oh, my phone. It's Catherine. Oh, sorry. But, well, whatever. Ah, it's late. Would you like to save your progress? Some new faces. That poor lost soul is particularly intriguing. You'll find there are many lost sheep in the prison of despair. <laughs> I was at the bar, and this girl came in, and then... Damn, I can't remember. What is going on? Um. All right, all right. You the new guy from last night? Voice. You're that guy from yesterday. Listen, watch out for the crack blocks. They'll break after you step on them. Really? Many blocks have unique characteristics, such as cracked blocks and immovable blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. Yes, I got it. Whoa. Yes, I got it. You know you can hang from blocks, right? It's a really useful technique. If you can't find a clear path to walk, try looking for a new path along the edges. You'll drop down to the edge whenever you run out of footing while dragging a block. By crawling along those edges, you may be able to reach areas that couldn't be accessed on foot. Edge. All right, I got it. All right. All right, I got it. I see you're still alive and kicking. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. Even without dragging a block, you can easily hang down by running off a ledge where there is no step down. This technique is vital to your success. 
be sure to get comfortable with it. All right, I got it. Finding and picking up a mystic pillow will grant you an additional undo until you reach the goal. Gather as many as you can. It's ringing! I'm gonna get out of here! Pretty far. Good job. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody else is there too. Who's everyone? Hey, hey, wait a sec. Once you've crossed a checkpoint, you can retry from that spot. Be sure to run through it whenever you see one. Checkpoint. Edge. All right, I got it. Edge. Yeah. 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 All right. I made it. Go. <laughs> Looks like you survived. Wh who are you? A sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody here is a sheep but me. I recognize that voice. Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain, though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Just quit with all the dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, no, no. No, no wait. You hurry too. Hey! hey. You can save in the notebook and talk with other sheep on the landings. Go on, talk to them. When the icon is pink, you can talk to them. It grays out once they have nothing more to say. <laughs> hey, you okay? Keep it together, man. You're quite virtuous, however, to be concerned about someone other than yourself, given our present circumstances. I'm going to reward you with an oil field. An oil field? Ah, my usual habit. <laughs> what? What is this place? Why was I taken here? Same here. Wish I knew. What are those cages? Why are there sheep in them? I've had it! Get me out of here! Maybe this will be useful. We're discussing techniques. They're the key. I'll have to use that next time. Damn it! I'm gonna survive! Even if it means kicking off others! If you get in my way, I'll kick you off too! <laughs> Where am I? What's with all these damn sheep? That's all I want to know. Can you tell me anything? They told me to go up. But what's up there? G give me a break. I'll have to use that next time. Oh, man. Hey, long time no see. Or rather, nice to see you here. And welcome to the confessional. Who are you? This is the world of nightmares. I guess you could call me its supervisor. I sense a force of change rising up. What exactly happened in the other world? I guess it doesn't matter. You lambs are all destined to die here anyway. What? Are you ridiculous? But before I kill you, I want to determine the value of your life. So you'll have to answer some questions. Question one. What expectations do you have for your significant other? 
Pull the rope for the answer that best matches your true feelings. That's your choice? That's surprising. Hey, who are you? Are you doing all this? I told you. I'm just the supervisor. Someone else brought you here. It's someone you know. You never know what people are actually thinking. To learn the truth, you must survive. Then you can think about what's going on here. Let's head to the next trial. There's still more? Commencing area two. Are you ready? All right, I got it. Are you getting the hang of this? How the fuck am I supposed to get the hang of this? Hey, don't run up ahead, help me! Sorry, man. But I'm not going to die helping you. I've got to climb, too. Oh, yeah. As you climb, you'll run into strange items. Strange items? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll try to remember it for later. You can only carry one item at a time. But each one has a very useful purpose. Don't worry about using an item at the wrong time. If you regret it, you can always undo. <laughs> this is a white book. A 3x3 three three platform will appear at your feet. This enables you to create footing even in tight spaces. All right, all right. All right I got it. Edge. 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 Bring it! I gotta get out of here! I've seen others here and there. The fighting's gonna start getting fierce. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. There's no time for courtesy. Anyway, no matter what pops up, stay calm and keep climbing. What the hell is this place? How high does this damn thing go? I don't know. I wish I did. All right, I got it. Edge. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. How many people died trying to come here? People? I don't... Listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep. But all these sheep? They're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But... I do have an idea. An idea? Let's stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. You should think of what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. You be careful now. Something big? Still, you're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. That can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. Uh, hey, wait! you can learn tips on how to climb. Moving blocks around mindlessly won't work. Try to pick up some useful techniques here. New techniques will be written down by the other sheep. Hmm? What do you want? No, nothing. Let's make it out alive. I'm not sure how I feel about being encouraged by a sheep. But I guess it's better than being a chef. Or even worse, a kitchen hand. Huh? What's a... Kitchen band. I said hand, you idiots. 
kitchen hand, like a cook. Pay attention. Oh, sorry. <sighs> kitchen band. Hey, are you the same as me? Were you put down here by some trick? Why were we chosen? Do you know anything? Come on. How can I survive? I can't keep climbing. I don't know anything either. Listen, if you want to live and climb, that's all you can do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You gotta stay calm. <sighs> calm. Hey, didn't you shove me just a few minutes ago? How dare you? You're just some sheep. I'll shove you next time. Hey, I heard that all the sheep here are actually people. News flash. Fuck you. I need to make sure I survive. No. It's not a matter of right or wrong. It's about life and death. Yeah. What good is having pity going to do you in here? I found this out just now. Ah, the monster! It's fuzzy and fluffy at the same time, and it's coming right at me! Ah! Snap out of it. There's nothing like that anywhere near here. The monster talks. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Huh? What's with all the cubes? I don't understand any of this! What should I do? Please, help me! Just gotta climb. Learn some techniques to get higher. Techniques? Like what? Oh, come on, teach me. Anything. Maybe this will help. Allow me to explain the tornado. If blocks are stacked all over the place, calm down and pull them out one by one. Move them aside and bring them down like a tornado. Then make a staircase and climb. Oh, is that how you climb? Wow, you're amazing. Oh, I think I can go on a little longer. I saw a sheep fall past me on my way up. I, I can't get that scream out of my head. It won't go away. All you'll hear is your own death scream. You can stay here. But even this place will fall eventually. Next question. What do you value? I've had enough of this. A man's worth can't be measured by a single question. Not to mention, you have more than one path ahead of you. <laughs> this is the second question. Does life begin or end with marriage? <laughs> You've made your selection. I knew it! This is actually a giant chapel with eight floors. Wait, does that mean there's an end to this? The world is in a state of flux. I won't be able to guarantee what your future holds. Be careful what you take for granted. I'm sure you've heard the stories of people losing such things. Something big is coming. I can feel it. Something the likes of which this world has never seen. I guess there's no point in worrying about the future. You have more pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't like that laugh. So what the hell's going on here? You won't escape. Huh? What? That voice? Where have I... I won't let you escape! What the hell is this? Catherine? The fists of grudge have appeared. It's the killer. Do not die. Edge. 
I'm safe, right? Yeah! As promised, I have something special to show you tonight. Think back to long ago. Back to a time when you felt happy. Sorry about today. I don't usually burn the bacon like that. It's all right, I don't mind it a little crispy. I can tell something's going on with you. Are you working too hard? <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> You've been gaining weight, haven't you? Can't forget to eat your veggies. Well, I put ketchup on almost everything. <laughs> that doesn't count. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little workout will burn out those extra calories. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Fond memories, huh? You should think long and hard about what you have to lose. Let's do this again tomorrow. If you can survive, that is. is just a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? As long as two people are together, it's okay, right? It's supposed to be free, don't you think? Kind of surprising. Hmm? You know how it is with most girls. As soon as they're adults, all they can think about is tying the knot, right? But there are girls like you out there. <laughs> Never knew. Oh, it's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Thank goodness. Huh? We think alike. Oh! to work tomorrow, so I need to get home. Oh, oh. <laughs> I had fun tonight. Oh, oh. You must like what you <laughs> see. I'm not staring. <laughs> You're a bad liar. <laughs> you taste like smoke, <laughs> but I don't mind. <laughs> you don't say. This is not good. Hmm? <gasps> what is it good? Well, uh, you know, hooking up after we just met. Jeez, what the hell am I saying? Hmm. Huh? Um, is this gonna be a problem? So, okay, I cheated on Catherine. This is bad. This is really, really bad. But I didn't make a move. She forced herself on me. Oh, fuck, man. I drank way too much. <laughs> uh, would you mind not staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? I don't just sleep around. I came here because I like you. Huh? Oh. Oh. So, how do you feel about me? Huh? Oh, wow, um, I can't quite explain it. Uh, I feel odd. Hmm? 
You see, this is my first time. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. And I am really screwing this up right now. So then, it was love at first sight? Huh? Ah! What? I'm sorry. I'm really... You said you have to work, right? Work? Uh, I guess... Sorry. I, uh, I gotta go now. I have a, um, a dentist appointment now. Dentist? Yeah. Dentists get angry if you're late, too. Oh, I wanted to stay with you a little longer. I guess they'll have to wait until next time. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Hey, wait! I'm actually dating someone already. <sighs> this is a mistake. A mistake. It's gotta be a mistake.